have you ever seen a chase for a stolen school bus? Well, that's what we have in this video today. And also, what can happen when you run a red light at 70 miles per hour? Officers pulled over the 24-year-old in the area of Van Dyke and Stevens for an expired license plate. The window Hello. broke. Can you put the car in park? Yeah, in park. In park. Uh, so the reason I stopped you is because the plates expired. Yeah. yeah. I'm just going for work. Oh, yeah? After being asked to step out of the vehicle, Kelly put the Chevrolet cruise and drive and sped off, prompting police to chase him. I'll let him go. Okay. All right. uh, what I gotta have you do is just hop off of me real quick, man, just because you don't have your license on here, okay? Nope, 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 nope. I don't The average speed for the chase, the official said, was 82 miles per hour. Blackmail. from center line. He's jumping through the grass uh, just south of 10 and east on Lawrence. Somebody go to Sherwood in uh, 10 miles for me. Alright, we're uh, by that apartment complex uh, just east of Sherwood coming out to 10. Alright, west on, west on 10, west on 10. You're good, clear, sorry. Yep, 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 yep. The pursuit lasted all of three minutes as police followed the suspect north along Lawrence and Ten Mile, crossing a grassy field and through a solid red traffic signal. Officers called firefighters to the scene and tried to rescue the driver. The suspect died as a result of the impact and was pronounced dead at the scene. After the chase, police learned the man had a warrant for his arrest. They also found a loaded stolen gun in the car. At approximately 10.15 a.m. this morning, the Indiana State Police Versailles Post was contacted by Ohio authorities who relayed information that a yellow 2021 school bus had been stolen from the Cincinnati area and was currently being tracked while it traveled westbound on I-74 near Batesville in Ripley County, Indiana. A Batesville police officer and two Indiana State Troopers located the vehicle and followed it as it entered Decatur County, Indiana.
What I initially heard was that the bus driver was practicing or getting used to a route for a summer. Summer classes that he would have to drive a route for. That driver was out of the vehicle, but close by when the suspect apparently just jumped in and took off. The pursuit spanned more than 80 miles from Hamilton County across the Ohio-Indiana state line to Dearborn County through Decatur County to Shelby County and mostly along Interstate 74, county roads and some cornfields. It is not known what the suspect was counting. However, it is known that he was neither under the influence of alcohol nor other substances. He had no chance to escape on asphalt roads, so he decided that he would try to escape through the fields using the clearance advantage of the bus. However, he must have forgotten that at least half the cops drive SUVs and the fields are no problem for them. The suspect drove off the road every time he saw spikes in front of him.
Eventually, Murdoch hit officer's stop sticks, which caused the tires on the bus to deflate. At around 11.15, an hour after Indiana officers joined the chase, officers boxed in the bus in a cornfield and stopped him near County Road 25, just south of Shelbyville, Indiana. 32-year-old Chad Murdoch was arrested without incident and no one was hurt in the chase or theft. Through multiple police vehicles and property were damaged during the chase. In all, ISP said at least three police vehicles were damaged by collisions with the bus during the pursuit. Murdoch was taken to the Decatur County Jail, where he was charged with a slew of charges, including resisting law enforcement, criminal recklessness with a vehicle, possession of stolen property, and criminal mischief. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.